God bless you all you YouTubers out there, YouTube land, the YouTuber prayer warriors. I thank Jesus Christ to you. I give you a big high five here today. Praise the Lord. Tonight I want to thank my brother uh, Gary Metro. He gets two thumbs up helping me with my Leicester Brethren Food Pantry. Me and my wife, Betty uh, Cully, here in Pingville, Illinois. He puts on a, a front page of the Southern Illinois. Praise God, a five-star beloved Southern Illinois newspaper there in the state of Illinois. My two thumbs up to the Southern Illinois tonight, Gary Mitchell. God bless you all, the Southern Illinois gang there in Carbondale, Illinois, the headquarters in the Holy City. God bless you all. What I'm talking about tonight is uh, 22 years ago, the God of Israel gave me a dream on the most holy high day of Yom Kippur. That is the Jewish high holy day of the Day of Atonement. And he showed me that the Ark of the Covenant is in Petra, Jordan. And I wrote a booklet on it uh, 22 years ago. I'm reading some of the stuff tonight. I'm going to release this prophetic revelation. There will come a time real soon. I was over in Israel in 1994, the land of milk and honey, Canaan's land in 1996 to spy the land out. But next time, when I go over Jordan, this time, it'll be me and my beloved wife, Betty, Kelly, we're going to find the Ark of the Covenant. God is going to reveal it to us. And we're going to take it back to the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. We're going to donate it. The Ark of the Covenant for the glory of God for Bible prophecy to be fulfilled. So I'm going to read some things here tonight. This first thing I'm going to read about what I wrote here. This has come out 22 years ago. This is a prophetic revelation of God. I'm releasing it here today on August 31st in 2011. Ark of the Covenant. The lost Ark of the Covenant. The greatest mystery of all time. The Ark of the Covenant is 3,428 years old today. The Ark of the Covenant was built in 1436 B.C. in Exodus chapter 37, verse 1 through 9. It describes the Ark of the Covenant. Moses put in the Ark of the Covenant the two tables of the Ten Commandments of Paul the Man and Aaron's rod. The God of Israel has used great men of faith as Moses, Joshua, David, Solomon, Josiah with the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant re represented the God of Israel's Shekinah glory presence. The last time the Ark of the Covenant is talked about is in 2 Chronicles chapter 35 and verse 1 through 3 in 619 B.C. Josiah king of Judah put back the Ark of the Covenant in Solomon's temple at Jerusalem, Israel. Only the two tablets of the Ten Commandments were in the Ark of the Covenant in 619 B.C. Three years ago in a dream, the God of Israel told me that the Ark of the Covenant is in the cave of Petra, Jordan. This was released to the Southern Illinois newspaper article on September the 26th, 1992, what I'm reading from here. This thing here is uh, 20, let's see, it is 19 years old here. In 586 B.C., King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon attacked Jerusalem from the north. Poor Korhathath, Levite priest, carried the Ark of the Covenant south from Jerusalem, Israel, and Hebron, Israel, and the Ammonites stole the Ark of the Covenant from the poor Korhathath, Levite priest. The Ammonites took the Ark of the Covenant to Petra, Jordan, and hid it in a cave. The God of Israel will return the Ark of the Covenant to the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. Jesus, the Messiah, is returning soon. Say this prayer with me. Jesus, the Savior, Messiah, wants to save your soul tonight. I pray in the name of Jesus that white, black, red, yellow, Jews, and Gentiles be saved. Today is the day of salvation. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Call in the name of the Lord and be saved. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. I pray, Holy Spirit, put conviction on the people. Jesus, save their soul. Jesus, I am a sinner. Jesus, forgive me for my sins. <clears throat> Jesus, I accept you as my personal Savior. Jesus, thank you for saving my soul. A new name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Amen, amen. 
Praise Jesus. You said that prayer. Jesus saved your Messiah. He saved your soul today. This is God's masterpiece. Right here it is. This is His masterpiece. The God Almighty's masterpiece. For Jesus' glory. Right here it is. He gave this to me from 1989 to 1992. Straight from the throne room of God. From the presence of God Almighty. God of Israel. Jesus the Savior Messiah. Up there in heaven. It come down from manna from heaven. Down. For God's glory. I'm going to read some excerpts from it tonight. The Ark of the Covenant, the greatest mystery of all time. The Ark of the Covenant has been lost or hidden for 2,576 years. Ark means chest. Covenant means agreement. The gold that covered the Ark of the Covenant would be worth quite a bit. But the Ten Commandments that are in the Ark of the Covenant would be priceless. In Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 16, the Word of the Lord says, And it shall come to pass. When ye be multiplied, increased in land in those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit, neither shall that be done any more. I know we are living in that day that the prophet Jeremiah predicted about 2,600 years ago. Today's people do not know anything about the ark of the covenant. <clears throat> I'm looking for some more things here about the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant represented God's Shekinah glory's presence. Yom Kippur is a Jewish day of atonement. Jesus observed it as day of fasting and worship. Yom Kippur is the most important and sacred Jewish holy day. On this day to devote Jews think of the sins, repents, and ask for forgiveness from God. In ancient times, the high priest held a service in the temple in Jerusalem, sacrificed animals. Today, Jews fast, do not work, and attend services in the synagogue or temple. And when Moses died, the Ark of the Covenant was passed on to Joshua. God did another miracle in chapter 3 of Joshua. When the Ark of the Covenant crossed the Jordan, the Jordan River split that the priest with the Ark of the Covenant walked on dry land to the promised land. Petra means rock. Jesus is our rock of salvation. Jesus said, On this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Esau sold his birthright to Jacob because he was hungry. Jacob and his mother tricked Isaac and stole Esau's blessing from him. God changed Jacob's name to Israel. Esau was the father of the Ebonites. Esau made Ishmael's daughter. The Ebonites were better, in, were better enemies of the Hebrews. Moses pleaded with the Ebonites in Numbers chapter 20 verses 17, 21 to pass through the land. But the Ebonites refused Moses to enter their land. Petra has over a thousand tombs or caves in it. I know the Ark of Covenant is one in those hiding places. Petra has beautiful red rocks that surround it. Petra, rose red city, half as old as time. On December the 7th, 1989, my Aunt Armida Frank had got real sick. And I had to take her to the UMWA Hospital, West Frankfort, Illinois. I was praying for her when I felt led to go to the church chapel. When I got down there, the Bible was open to Obadiah. That is the key of David for the Ark of the Covenant, Obadiah. There are 1,189 chapters in the Bible. The odds were 1,189 to 1. God works in mysterious ways. The name Obadiah means the servant of Jehovah. The book of Obadiah, Obadiah had one chapter and 21 verses. God had some rich spiritual food to digest here. The book of Obadiah was written in 586 B.C., which tells about the Ebonites who lived in Petra, Jordan. God had shown me a new revelation for a missing key. In Obadiah chapter 1, verses 6, which reads, How are the things that Esau searched out? How are the hidden things sought out? 
This is the verse speaking of the Ark of the Covenant being hidden in Petra, Jordan. King David used all the silver and gold from Petra to build a future temple in Jerusalem about 373 years earlier. Then history repeats itself. The Ebonites stole the Ark of the Covenant and hid it in a cave in Petra, Jordan about 586 B.C. God always speaks through scriptures. Another key scripture is in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verses 17, which reads, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. This first means the Ark of the Covenant will be returned to Jerusalem, being the third temple. Amos, chapter 9, verses 11 and 12 is another missing key for God's promise. In that day when I raise up, the temple necker of David that is fallen and chose calls up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I'll build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the raiment of Eden, and all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that go doeth this. These two books of Amos Obadiah confirms God's true word that the Ark of the Covenant is in Petra, Jordan. The Jewish people in Israel are getting ready to build the third temple. The third temple will not be complete till the Ark of the Covenant returns. In Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 13, it talks about the Ebonites stealing the Ark of the Covenant. The Ebonites laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Substance meets material possession. In 586 B.C., the Ammonites stole the Ark of the Covenant from the, court, from the four Cornethian Levite priests at Hebron, Israel, and took it to Petra, Jordan, to hide it in a cave. The God of Israel returned the Ark of the Covenant from the cave in Petra, Jordan, to the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. Jesus is returning soon. In Hebrew chapter 9, verses 1 through 7, it tells about the Ark of the Covenant. When the Ark of the Covenant was here, the Holy Ghost was made manifest yet. The God of Israel would anoint prophets, priests, kings with Holy Ghost, but the people didn't have the Holy Ghost yet. In Hebrew chapter 9, verses 8 through 28, it, takes, it tells about Jesus, our high priest. Jesus is our Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was in the Holy of Holies had a veil that covered it in a temple. In Matthew chapter 27 and verse 51, it tells about the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom when Jesus died. 3,400 years ago, Moses in Deuteronomy 33 verses 1 through 3 talks about Petra Jordan. In Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 2, Moses said, The Lord from Sinai rose up from Sir, that is Petra Jordan, and to them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and that's uh, in Petra Jordan here again, and came with ten thousands of his saints from his high, from his right hand when the fiery law for them. Sir is where Petra Jordan is. Amen and amen. So that's the revelation about the Ark of the Covenant in Petra, Jordan, and me and Betty soon will go over there and find it for God's glory, and we will donate and take it back to the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. Time is short. This is God's supernatural revelation. You can be praying for me and Betty Kelly in Pinkville, Illinois. Pray for the least of brethren. We'll be praying for you, and I had to release this revelation. This revelation is 22 years old, for God's glory, and I give it all to God. Great things happen now. Pray for Israel. They're on the brink of World War III. Ezekiel 38, 39 will happen soon. Pray for the blessed, holy nation of Israel. God's uh, uh, milk and honey land, Canaan's land, beauty and land. That is God's holy land, the promised land for Jesus, uh, the Savior and Messiah, and the God of Israel. I love you all tonight. God bless you. Shalom and amen. We'll see you. God bless you. Have a good night. Thank you. Pray for me. Pray for Betty. Jesus returning soon. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus 
forgive you for your sin and Jesus will save your soul. Let him come into your heart. Your greatest decision for the glory be to God to shake the nation when Jesus comes in your heart.